This carbon footprint is really high. This is serious. Ah, that's just a heat wave. His what print? His carbon footprint. It's a way to measure our pollution of the planet. Everything we do pollutes a little. For example, when we travel, when we use a lot of power, or certain types of products. And the more we pollute, the bigger our carbon footprint. Tito, have you been using non-renewable energy again? Disposable batteries are the worst! Hey, my drone! Ugh. Quickly, he needs renewable energy sources right now! Okay, Tito, we have to intervene. This windy spot is perfect for some wind turbines. Oh, I tell you, it's a cold. That's it, Bondo. The wind turbines use wind to generate clean energy. Oh, and I'll put solar panels in this wonderful place. Oh, I hope I'm not too late. Let's keep making changes. We still have to lower the temperature. Excuse me, can I go to the toilet? Hang on, Tito. I can't hold it any longer. These waterfalls are ideal for hydroelectric power plants. Wow, another giant hand has intervened the landscape, ladies and gentlemen. See? Much better. <laughs> it's not enough! We need to do something quickly! Uh, hmm. Vehicles use fossil fuel. I've got it! We'll replace the gasoline with organic sustainable fuel! Biofuel! That's it, Hector! Biofuels considerably reduce our carbon footprint! Thank you, guys! I feel a lot better now! Take care of yourself, Tito! Your health is very delicate! <laughs> now I'll only use renewable energies! I'm afraid so. We're down to atom size. Everything you can imagine is made of atoms. Oh. Well, at least this is as small as we can get, right? I'm afraid not. With the particle accelerator, scientists found proof that inside of